Hello, Jake Widgen from Moog Music here at Craft Music today to tell you a little bit more about the Moog Little Fatty. And remember, for the best deals on Moog, check out the bundles at Craft Music. The Moog Little Fatty is Moog's 37 key, two oscillator analog synthesizer. Um, we've given you two oscillators, full free running analog uh, VCOs, one filter, and then an envelope generator for volume and filter. Um, and with those two sounds, you can actually create a, a, a wide variety of Moog tones. It's uh, you know brought into this package, so it's got a nice small footprint on stage, 37 key keyboard, but you've really got all the elements there to create lush analog Moog bass lines, screaming leads, pads, effects, all kinds of really fun stuff. And then on board, over this analog instrument, we've got digital control over the settings, which enables us to save 100 presets here on the panel. So Moog's a, uh, the Little Fatty's a great synth to get started with, um, and it's a really, really deep instrument when you, when you learn more and you want to get deeper into your own sound design. But right out of the box, you can get jamming on some amazing presets, and I'll let you hear some, some tones right now. <laughs> So a really neat feature of the little fatty is that we've got the four shared function knobs across the top of the panel that are cleverly labeled with the concentric ring of, of LED lights. The cool thing about that is as you scroll through these presets designed by some great Moog engineers and artists, you can glance at the ring and see where the settings are and teach you a little bit about your tone. So we're gonna back up a little bit and do a full guided tour of the little fatty and build a sound from start to finish and let you hear what's really going on with this instrument. We're gonna listen to the calibration setting you can get to any time from the panel. It's one square wave oscillator. And even on its own, no filtering and one oscillator by itself, it's a really, really beautiful tone, very video game sounding. All right, so we're gonna Thicken this sound a little bit by adding another oscillator. And already you can hear it's just getting a little bit more complex. We've got a nice phasing. We can change the wave of each oscillator. We're going to go to a triangle now and get a little more buzz going on with it. And then really, really quickly, we're going to dive into the filter, add some resonance, and play some cutoff. And now you've got that classic Moog filter. So add to that the envelope generators and the LFO, that, uh, they'll give you access to changing how your filter will evolve over time, how your pitch will evolve over time, and you've got real-time connectivity to all those different parameters of your sound, uh, which is really, really amazing and really, really fun. <laughs> So for the performer on stage, you've got a 37-note keyboard, a nice range for getting everything done that you need to do, and then some really, really quick octave switches here. Fast responding, so you can use those to do some cool octave effects on the fly. Um, add to that a programmable pitch bend. Right there we've got about a step, but you can adjust that to go up to a full octave. And then a really, really fun modulation section where you can decide what action will happen when you raise that mod wheel. Right now we've got a nice triangle modulating pitch to give us some pitch vibrato. We could quickly change that to a square. Ramp and saw, or I could take 
the filter envelope to be the, uh, the voltage to control that. We're going to go back to a triangle now, and instead of pitch, I'm going to send it to filter. A little more amount there. Square on the filter. And that LFO has enough range that it can go up into an audio frequency and give you a sound that's now really gritty and dirty. We've created something almost similar to a distortion or ring modulation just by using really fast modulation of the filter. And since that's on our mod wheel, we can bring that in with the left hand controller as we're playing as a, as a musical effect. The next thing I want to tell you about are the envelopes on the little fatty. Envelopes on a synthesizer are uh, the section where you can decide how your note will evolve over time with respect to the filter cutoff or the volume. So we'll start with filter. We'll listen to a sound. Nice mellow tone. No evolution to it, really. Now as I add filter amount, I'm deciding how much of this envelope setting I'm letting pour into the filter cutoff. And basically what this is doing is acting as that phantom hand that'll go grab the filter cutoff and turn it while I play. And how fast it turns on the, uh, on the attack will be set by the attack knob. The higher it is, the slower that ev uh, evolution uh, will happen. Decay will be how fast it returns to a sustain point. So I could have no attack and all decay. That's how you get those familiar mogi sounds we're all used to hearing on records. So now the same is true of the volume envelope. We can change the way our volume will evolve over time. Let's set a lower sustain so we can really hear what's going on and we'll set a nice decay. So now we've got a sound that's starting out loud, coming to sustain at a lower level. And then if I turn up the release, that will set the length of time it takes for the note to die out once I release a key. So now you can have some longer sustaining tones. We can also add a release value on the filter cutoff. So we hear the filter darkening on the release as well. Um, envelope, especially the volume envelope, is very, very useful when you're using the, uh, the arpeggiator that's on board the little fatty. There's another really, really cool feature that can make this analog monosynth a whole lot of fun. It's a very easy to use um, arpeggiator. You just push the value encoder in and you're off and running. So we'll get something going here. Take it down and on. All right, that's fun all day long, but now check this out. If I turn the sustain down, we're just going to hear the decay of each note. Now I can kind of change the uh, percussive attack of everything, and we've got a cool arpeggio we can sweep the filter on and do some fun stuff with. We can turn it on all attack, and it'll sound like the notes are coming backwards. So. Onboard arpeggiator, really, really fun for building bass lines, really fun for holding down chords and getting a kind of uh, sequence playing through your, uh, your analog monosynth. Now let's take a look at the, uh, the panel here on the side of the LP and see what kind of uh, inputs you've got. Standard volume output here, but you've also got an external audio input. Why would you need that, Jake? Well, there's a long tradition of people running external tracks through their Moog analog ladder filter. Uh, whether that's other synthesizers, or if you're working in the studio, you're going to run drums, you're going to run full tracks through this filter, uh, you bring those in right there. So it's another really big added value to this instrument. We've got four control voltage inputs on the little fatty for pitch, volume, filter, and gate. Those will let you uh, plug in an expression pedal or an external source of voltage to further control uh, the little fatty remotely. And then over here, we've got MIDI in and out via DIN and MIDI over USB 
It's a really important uh, aspect of this instrument. Not only can you play the uh, little fatty as a MIDI controller, you can send MIDI in to note on the instrument and control all of the functions of the panel. What that means is you can, you can literally control this analog synthesizer uh, through your favorite MIDI sequencer or any, uh, any kind of DAW that puts out MIDI, which makes this a really, really important production tool. You've got digital control over live analog circuits, so you don't sacrifice your tone, but you can bring in every convenience of the digital age. Um, here on the, this model that we're playing now, uh, this has uh, the added modification of the CV outputs on it. This instrument is available with or without that mod. Uh, CV again stands for control voltage. Your five CV outputs are for um, gate, for your uh, pitch voltage, your volume envelope, filter envelope, and for your modulation uh, voltage output. Voltage is a really key principle of Moog synthesizers ever since the beginning. So in an era pre-MIDI, that's how these instruments would interact with each other or interact with different modules within a synthesizer. Having the CV outputs lets you use this to interact with our Moog refogers uh, and with any other uh, synthesizers that put out voltage. <laughs> And so as Moog fans uh, surely know, we've recently released the Sub Fatty synthesizer and added that to the Little Fatty family. I want to tell you about a couple features that distinguish the Little Fatty from the Sub Fatty, the most obvious one being 37 note keyboard. You've got a lot of real estate, nice three octave range. Uh, for your playing here, so it makes it a great stage synth. Um, a second is uh, 100 presets in memory. This one's designed to hold a lot more for you on stage, uh, and, and you know, with the labeled encoder, you can roll through and get to uh, lots and lots of sounds on the fly. Uh, the other thing is the built-in arpeggiator on the Little Fatty is a really, really um, awesome feature that is not included with the sub, but lets you uh, build really, really quick bass lines, lets you hold down chords, um, so you can take the sound a step further and get a lot more out of this analog monosynth. And uh, in closing, to wrap things up, I just want to underline, uh, you know, the fact that Little Fatty Synthesizer, along with all Moog products, are handmade in Asheville, North Carolina, much like they were uh, in, in Bob's day. So uh, it's a really rugged, it's a nice, heavy, um, solid synthesizer uh, with, you know, nothing but the best components inside to, to help build up your tone. Thank you for joining us today on this tour of the Little Fatty. I'm Jake Widgen with Moog Music. And remember, for the best deals on Moog, check out the bundles at Craft Music. Mm -hmm.